Hello, I'm Christian. In this video I will show you the equipment that you need for dry needling and how to prepare yourself and the patient for a dry needling treatment. I'm sure that this workflow will help you for safety and effectiveness in dry needling. Now, the equipment, I recommend to have it on a trolley. On the trolley you have swaps, a needle collector, hand disinfectant, disinfectant spray, of course needles, a tray for the trash and gloves. Regarding the needles, we use siren needles since 25 years. We used 10,000 of needles and never had any problems with it. I'm sure that there are other good needles on the market, but we just don't have the experience with it. Let's go back to the patient. The patient should be in a relaxed position. The muscle must be relaxed and you can either sit or stand, but be sure that you're comfortable. Now let's go. I will needle with my right hand. So the trolley should be on your right side. Be sure that the needle collector is open. That's a good way to prevent from accidental needle stitch. Then take the gloves. The gloves are basically for your own protection. So we use gloves on both hands. It's just in case that you have to repalpate the muscle and in case of a bleeding, because of course you don't want to touch the blood with your hand. Now let's have a look at the muscle. In this example, I will show you the ECRL, extensor carpia dis longus. For each muscle, you check the landmarks, precautions, and decide the needle that you want to use. For this muscle, for the extensor carpia dis longus, I will use a 3 cm needle. Now, I show you how to open the needle. Take them apart like that, that, depend, that prevents from bending, and then open the needle package. Only open it down to the grip, not down to the needle. Like that, the actual needle is still protected. Then you can place it on the trolley. Then palpate the taut band and the trigger point that you want to needle and disinfect. Depending on the product, it takes 15 to 30 seconds. Then you can take the needle like that. Before you use a needle, always check if the needle is bent or if it has any other damage. Then you're ready. You can insert the needle. Now you do the coning or the sewing machine technique. I will talk about that in another video. When your needling is finished, take the needle out, dispose it in the needle collector. In case of bleeding, take a swab and compress the needle side for at least 30 seconds. Thanks for your interest and see you in another video soon.